Hello and welcome to Wagga Woods. I'm Lorraine and I wanted to introduce you to Holly. Holly is a lovely small tree. It's an evergreen tree so it means it doesn't lose its leaves during the winter time um, and in fact that was quite helpful in the past for people because although it's incredibly prickly and it can't be a whole load of fun to eat people did in desperate times take this the leaves put it in a pestle and mortar and bash it all up to take the spines off it and they fed it as fodder to their animals in hard times holly we associate with christianity because the berries the red berries were meant to represent uh, the blood of Christ so often that's why we have holly at Christmas time on a Christmas table but in fact holly has been used in solstice celebrations by uh, people way before Christianity. Historically holly has been associated with several uses. People used to think that you could cure whooping cough from holly by drinking milk from a wooden bowl made from holly. Tea was also made from the leaves and it was thought to cure rheumatism. Sometimes you might see uh, holly leaves with a small triangular tear on the leaf and this is because blue tits have been after the holly leaf miner, a small creepy crawly that actually lives inside the leaf. Holly trees are either male or female. The males don't have berries but the females do. Holly has often been used for making spears in the past and you'll sometimes, if you go to historic houses, see a white wood inlaid into a darker wood and that's the holly wood.